And welcome back to the Blown Gold Report. We spoke with Maravik Mamet from the women's tennis team, and now it is my pleasure to welcome in Ronnie Schaefer, senior catcher from the baseball team. Ronnie, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Uh, the team is 6-1. and one. You swept number 23 Baylor, went 3-1 against Cal in the first two weekends. Did you think the team was going to be off to this fast of a start? Uh, I mean, you never really can predict something that uh, turn out this good this fast. Um, we had high expectations, that's for sure. Um, and it, it, it's kind of carried, carried through the first weekend especially and then into this weekend. Um, and yeah, it's been, it's been really good so far. Baylor was a NCAA regional champion last year. What was the key to kind of get a handle on them this year and you know, coming away with a sweep? Um, the big thing uh, <clears throat> that Skip always talks about and that, that we understand that for us to win, um, he uses the term, uh, you got to win the freebie battle, which is errors, uh, walks, hit by pitches, uh, extra bases here and there, and um, that's a big key for us, um, and that's what it's, we did really good the first weekend, winning the freebie battle. This weekend, the game we lost, we kind of, we had a couple walks, a couple hit by pitches, a couple errors, and you know, that, that leads to bad things, and, um, but yeah, like we said, you're saying against Baylor, um, we didn't give up any extra bases. Um, I feel like uh, not many errors, and you know it just limits the damage. Um, make them, make them beat us. We can't beat ourselves, and that's really uh, what we did. What we've been doing so far. Is that something that uh, Skip is preaching every every practice? The freebie battle, the freebie battle, or was that something you worked out in the fall and that you guys now just understand and you don't need to hear it again, or is that constantly being preached? It's it's being preached quite a bit, um, especially when uh, it comes up as a prime example. Um, again, like we were talking about with Baylor, we didn't give up much; they did. Mm -hmm. And every time after every game, I feel like he had that talk. Hey. We're doing a great job with this, but this is what can happen if if we're them. We're hating ourselves because we beat ourselves. We walked these guys. We made a couple errors, and so it's just prime examples of it that he brings up and and, and kind of proves reinforces. it to us exactly. So you talked about the one loss to Cal and how we gave up a few you know hit batsmen and some walks. Was that some rust being shaken off? Or, you know, or is that just you know did our pitchers lose a little focus? What was that all about? I think part of it, it's it's just baseball. You can't be perfect all the time. Um, sometime a pitch, sometimes a pitch is going to get away from you. You're going to hit a guy. You're going to have a couple bad pitches where you walk a guy, you know, make an error here and there. But um, also part of it is I think uh, that first game, you are maybe a little tired coming out from a late night the night before, right. coming out early the next day. Um, they didn't quite feel like we were, we really wanted it that first game. We were kind of just going through the motions a little bit. And um, it re it came back to haunt us, and uh, but it woke us up, and we came back uh, ready to go the second game. Now you're talking about freebies. Are you looking for the freebies when you're you're batting? Because I feel like a couple times I'm thinking, Stevens, you know, wear it. Scotchly, you got to wear it. You know, they're getting out of the way. But are you guys looking for the freebie too? Well, definitely, yeah. I mean, uh, we 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 also preach that. I mean, if the ball's coming at you, don't get out of the way. It's not the easiest thing in the world to do, right. but uh, we work on it, uh, especially uh, in the fall when we have those rainy days where we're in the batting cage. We'll get uh, these softballs out, and we'll have a station where we call it the dough station, uh -huh. where Coach Shine loves doing it, Gish <laughs> loves doing it. They'll just sit there and with the, with the softballs, they'll throw a couple strikes, and then they'll throw one at us, and we got to wear it, not get out of the way. So it's kind of just, just training you to knock it out of the way and like and when you see it with the real ball you, hopefully it translates into it i think i threw a dough station last year it's pretty fun <laughs> you probably loved it <laughs> i did <laughs> um you sat out last year with a broken finger not a fun year for you you're back and you're hitting the ball well what did you do over the summer and the fall did you change anything about your swing you know did the finger force you to change anything uh not really i wouldn't necessarily say i, I didn't set out to change anything specifically um Taking some time off um, could have helped. I mean, just taking the time off, not swinging every day, and then getting back into it um, almost with a fresh start, starting from again from the beginning with my swing uh, could have helped. Um, I mean, I worked. I didn't see live pitching all summer. I stayed home, didn't play summer ball. But um, I mean, I worked in the cages. I worked off the tee, all that stuff, just trying to dial it in 
get back to you know just the little things within the swing um, and I think that that really helped um, and then it carried over into the fall um, and the fall just gave me a bunch of confidence um, carried that over into the season so far and hopefully I can keep it going it seems like you're just hitting the ball so much harder than you were you know two years before <coughs> um, do you think that's a fair assessment that you're really just cranking the ball mm -hmm. yeah, I'd, I'd say that um, freshman year um, I mean, I feel like I was crushing the ball then, and then you know, I kind of sophomore year things started not go so well. wasn't wasn't didn't start off hot, mm -hmm. and you kind of start maybe start feeling for the ball a little bit instead of just letting it fly sometimes. And um, when you're feeling good and you're letting it fly, you're you're getting barreled to the ball consistently. Um, it should it, it works out a lot better, a lot looser. And uh, yeah, I'm feeling good so far. Do you feel like you have to stop? Do you stop thinking at that point? You're just like you said, you're letting the you're letting the barrel fly. Are you thinking about that at all, or are you just you're just playing baseball at that point? Yeah, when you're when you're feeling good, you don't think at all. That's um, another thing. The last couple of years, when uh, the hits weren't coming for me, you know, sometimes you're thinking too much. That where there's something wrong with your swing. Um, when really, there might not be. It's just baseball. Sometimes you know you're just you're not going to get the hits. You're going to miss it by a little bit. You're going to pop out, ground out. Um, we just got to keep keep at it. Quit thinking. Get out of your own head, and just just let it go and uh, let the game work. Uh, the lineup pretty solid from top to <coughs> bottom this year. You know, Jerry, Taylor, Sparks, Connor, all hitting really well. Uh, it just seems like everything's clicking. Is this just? Are you guys all feeling comfortable because you feel the lineup is set, or are you, is everyone just still competing to to you know own that spot for the rest of the year, or the re or even for the next weekend? I think it's a little bit of both. Um, it's always nice knowing that the lineup is pretty set, mm -hmm. um, and we don't get that all the time here. Mm -hmm. uh, Skip likes to move the lineup around, which, um, I mean, it, it also puts pressure on us, too. Like I said, it goes both ways where it's nice to know you're going to be there, but in the back of your mind, you know, you got to... you got to produce. you got to produce, exactly, to stay in that spot. So um, I think it's a little bit of both. Um, I mean, I, like I said, it definitely feels good knowing that Lineup's pretty set. Um, we actually had a couple of guys. We're talking about that this week. It's like it, we don't really have that in the past. We haven't had that um, that often. And the first two weekends, it's been it's been pretty consistent with uh, one through nine. I mean, little changes here and there, mm -hmm. but um, most of the guys know where where they're going to be, and they're they're getting comfortable there. A few new names in the lineup: Dominic Taylor. We saw Mikey Dwardy. Um, you know, Dominic's a transfer. Mikey's a true freshman. Give us your take on those two guys and what they bring to the team. Dominique, uh, he's been good for us. Uh, I mean, all fall we knew we knew he was going to be good for us coming in, but um, out in center field, he's uh, he tracks balls down um, at the plate. Uh, I've been really impressed with him so far. Uh, in the fall, you could see a little bit where the mix of pitches that our pitchers were able to throw could get him off balance okay. but he's he's really settled in uh really nice so far for us uh battling with all pit all the pitches and um like i said i've been really impressed with him he's made the adjustment um to the d1 pitching and uh with mikey I and mean, that guy his first start that was pretty awesome to see him get out there get three hits right um and i mean i think he's going to be really good for us uh he just needs to to get the experience and calm down a little bit. I think he, he gets a little too excited, a little nervous. Um, I mean, which happens for a young guy, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm impressed with him too. We'll see him at second base quite a bit more, I'm sure. Well, I know that Ben Orloff is kind of mentoring him and taking him under his wing, so we hope that, uh, yeah, that he pans out. For, you know, Dominique specifically, when you're transferring from, you know, a junior college and you're making the transition to D1, it, it's always, it seems to be more often than not you have a rough transition year. Is there anything about his personality that kind of negated that for him? Is he just kind of a free spirit? I mean, he dressed up as, I, I can't remember who he dressed up as at Halloween, but I know he wore a dress and a wig. So <laughs> obviously he's feeling super comfortable with himself. But is there anything about his personality that kind of helped negate having a rough transition? Um, he, I mean, I think he's got, he definitely has a lot of confidence in himself, which, which helps. Um, if you're confident in your abilities, um, and you struggle a little bit, you know, you can get through it faster. If you're doubting yourself a little bit and you, you start out struggling, um, maybe you, you let down a little bit. But, um, yeah, he's, he's uh, like I said, he's real confident in himself, and I think he's comfortable with the team. Um, he fit in pretty nicely, 
um, his locker's right next to mine. We we sit there and joke around in the locker room and stuff. And uh, most of the guys, uh, we seem to get along pretty well as a whole. But especially, I mean, with the new guys, they fit in really well. And I think that uh, that definitely helps too. You know, you talked about adjustments. You're catching and playing first base. How has that been for you? How how's adjusting to that been for you? It hasn't been too bad. Um, I mean, it was a long time ago, but I used to play infield. Okay. Back in high school, I played some infield. <laughs> but um, first base, uh, I feel like there's not too much pressure over there. You're so close to the bag. I just feel like just knock the ball down and flip it to the pitcher as he's covering. So um, uh, it, it hasn't been too bad so far. Um, I enjoy it. It's something different. Um, obviously, I enjoy catching a lot more. I like being in the game, in the mix. Uh, at first base, tend to get a little bored sometimes over there when there's <laughs> nothing going on. But uh, I like getting a, a little break, um, giving my legs a rest. Right. And Jerry's uh, more than uh, adequate at, as a catcher, so he, he should he should definitely get get some time back there and give me a break. Who's a better first baseman, you or Connor? Oh, I'm gonna t I'm gonna say me. <laughs> <laughs> he, I mean, we are, we're over there and. Him and all. I mean, we have like four first basemen this year with Munoz and the uh, freshman uh, Martinez, and so we're over there all battling. And I always like to joke around with them that uh, you know I'm the catcher coming over there and I'm beating them all for the spot. <laughs> but um, I mean, I think it's just the the or the, I mean, the competition between us. You know, makes everything better. It's all friendly banter, exactly. Right?